Hi, I'm Sarah Goer of Sarah Goer Quilts and my new Island Batik box just arrived. So I'm gonna show you what's inside. I haven't even taken a peek yet. Okay, so here's the box. I'm taking my first peek. This is part of Petting Zoo, and that is for my August project. And then what do I have here? Okay, so this one is Victoria and Albert, 10 inch squares. Whoops. They look to be leafy and floral. These are 10 inch squares, love the colors. Bright, bold, vibrant colors. This is Taisley Dots in Brights. Um, this is the surprise fabric that I can't show you yet. Um, oh, Jungle Cruise. Okay, so Jungle Cruise here has two and a half inch strips. And then some yardage to go with it. There's a light. And a dark, oh, I love this one, the giraffe print. Um, okay, oh, and more bright colors. I love these checks. This is my palette right here. These are my favorite colors. Turquoise and navy and teal. If I had to pick one color palette for the rest of my life, that would be it. <laughs> um, these are Batik foundations. Got some more bright colors, yellow, green, a whole rainbow here, blue, uh, orchid, tangy, a couple of those were in my last box too. Alrighty, and then we have a bag from Aurifil. Aurifil USA is 10 years old. Let's see what's inside. This is tricky when handed off the dump. Okay, so information from RFL. This is a great little book if you don't have one. It's got all of the information about the different weights, um, how much comes on each spool, and what it's good for, like what it is ideal for. And they go through all the different weights. This is available digitally on their website. And then, um, the back page has a chart that tells you um, what size three dots is highly recommended, two dots is suitable, one dot is not recommended, um, and you know a dash is not suitable. Um, so that's lots of information about the thread. Um, this is a set of RFL that's all the same color and um, all the different weights are included. So um, I'm gonna play with that. That will go really nicely with, with this Jungle Cruise, I think. And then I have a spool here of, I think that's 12, yeah, 12 weight and kind of a cranberry red. Okay, a little more fabric. I have a whole giant five yard pile of a nice neutral here that I will certainly put to good use. And then I've got some basics here in gray, white, and black. So this will be fun to incorporate with the bright colors. Let's see, where do those brights go? I think I can see something with bright colors and black in my future. Maybe that'll be my June project. And then also some stuff from Hobbs. Let's see. Oh, wool. Okay, so I have not quilted with wool. So this is exciting. So this is a throw size in 100% wool and a throw size in cotton wool blend. So I'll have to figure out which project, which projects to use those on so that I can try out the blue batting. And this one is a cotton batting, queen size cotton batting. So I'm so excited to add all this fun new color to my Island Batik pile. I have some plans for um, August using Petting Zoo, which is what this purple is from. And I really think, I really think these, uh, these bright Paisleys will make an appearance in my July project. 
Um, thanks for checking it out.